Hello again, Chief. Mrs. Fletcher, what can I do for you? Ms. Marshall, when Gerald Morgan was found dead, $500 in a money clip was found by his body. I suspect that the money may have come from you. You have no proof of that. We may, if the serial numbers on the bills can be traced back to a delivery of cash from the bank to your office. I will admit, in the course of my early career, I did some things I'm not exactly proud of to get ahead. Gerald was a charismatic fellow, and he charmed his way past my receptionist to get into my office. He found some papers of mine and threatened to turn them over to my boss. So the $500 was a payoff? If that's what you want to call it, yes. I've heard enough. Joanne Marshall, I'm placing you under arrest for the murder of Gerald Morgan. What? That's preposterous. Oh, for pity's sake, Chief. You have to stop jumping to conclusions like this. Now let's think this through. Miss Marshall, do you mind if we take another quick look around? If you must, I have nothing to hide.
This syrup bottle with your label on it was found near Gerald's body. Did you supply it, Ms. Marshall? I certainly did not. And since I know you're going to ask, no, I did not put Gerald up to sabotaging Maria Olson's sugar house. But Maple Hill is your competition. For now. But we're hoping to purchase it and add it to the Nature's Gift food. Why would I want to irreparably damage the reputation of a business I'm hoping to acquire? And, Chief, it would seem unlikely that Ms. Marshall would send Gerald out on an ethically dubious mission when he already was collecting evidence to blackmail her with. I guess that wouldn't make much sense. Ms. Marshall, do you use red food dye in any of your products? Sure. We use it in some of our processed maple candies. So it's entirely possible that Gerald took the dye for himself. I can assure you that I had nothing to do with it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting with a supplier. I wonder if this letter opener we found was used to force the window open at the sugar house. Let's head back to Maple Hill and find out for sure. I just checked and the scratch marks on the windowsill don't match the letter opener. Yes, the gouge marks in the wood are rounder. Maria, do you have anything around the sugar house that would fit the description of a thin, rounded tool? No, not that I know of. The tree bore is the closest thing. Chief, don't you think it's odd that the killer used a bore found inside the sugar house to kill Gerald? I mean, why search for a new tool for the murder instead of simply using the one they had to pry open the window? There's getting to be entirely too many dead ends in this case. Let's double check and see if we missed anything here at the crime scene.
just not sure what those green fibers we found on the windowsill might be from. I have no idea. Let's head back to the station. Maybe my deputies made some progress on that die.